Hi, I'm Lisa Ryan, Chief Appreciation Strategist at Gratigy. Welcome to this edition of Employee Engagement Tips. Now it's been found that many employees do not leave their jobs, they leave their managers. So how can you work with your leadership team to create that culture of appreciation that encourage employees to stick around? Well, you can do it in three ways. Attitude, latitude, and gratitude. Attitude. First of all, is your leadership team creating a safe environment that employees are comfortable sharing ideas, providing feedback, talking about ways that things could be better done within the organization? Are they empowered to play a role in how they do their jobs? Or is it kind of like the emperor is not wearing any clothes and nobody wants to tell him? That turns into what I refer to the disease as grin and agree. Management is speaking, employees are nodding their head, agreeing with everything that's being said, and then they just go out and do what they're going to do anyway. Creating a safe environment empowers employees and gets more done. Latitude. How flexible is your management team? Does everything have to be done in a particular order at a particular time? Or are you more focused on the outcomes, making sure that the job gets done and it gets done well but you let the employees themselves determine giving them the flexibility as far as how they do their job. Empowering employees by giving them some latitude also helps with re employee retention. And finally, gratitude. Expressing appreciation for a job well done while being specific, sincere, and detailed in that appreciation. Instead of just saying, great job, to be specific. Thank you so much for the research that you did for that project. You really knocked it out of the park on that one. I had one of my audience members at a recent program share with me that she had reached the point that she was ready to quit her job. She had had enough, she was done. On that very day, one of her managers sat in a presentation that she was doing. And the manager wrote her a note congratulating her on a job very well done. That note was given to her three years ago and she's still there. We assume that the people that work for us know that we appreciate them, but believe it or not, most of them have failed Mind Reading 101. So make it a point today to express your appreciation either verbally or in writing. You have no idea the impact that that has on the people that work for you. So remember, in your leadership team, it's attitude, it's latitude, and most of all, it's gratitude. I'm Lisa Ryan, Chief Appreciation Strategist at Gratigy, and I work with organizations to keep their top talent and best clients from becoming someone else's. And I appreciate you. Thank you.